Vlad and Tyrese. You see that video of Tyrese recently? Nah, nah. You're Vlad and Tyrese, man, what the heck is going on? I stepped away for one minute and this is what I come back to? And you sitting off camera trying to bait us into talking shit about each other and going at each other. What's, tri what's, what's trending out here to talk about? News you can use. Uh, news you can use. Let's talk about it, man. Let's, let's get into it. Uh, so we got Vlad and Vlad and Tyrese. See that video of Tyrese recently? Nah, nah. You heard? Vlad and Tyrese, man, what the heck is going on? I stepped away for one minute and this is what I come back to? And you sitting off camera trying to bait us into talking shit about each other and going at each other. Vlad and Tyrese are really at each other's throats right now. Um, I really, you know, I stepped on the scene, you know, Vlad is like a forerunner for, um, you know, getting uh, black business out there. I come in on the end of this thing, man, where I feel like people have already somewhat committed themselves to certain platforms. And Vlad is a guy that when I came on the scene, I looked at him and said, oh, man, he's doing his thing over there. But boy, let me tell you something. Don't you think for one minute I don't see the things that's happening with the way that people are looking at different platforms and the way that people are acting about different platforms. Some people get on these po podcasts or on these platforms to just pretty much be, you know, to get recognition. Some people do it for money. Um, a lot of time, Vlad is a lot of, he has a budget. He is getting certain people with giving them money, but then there will be some that he won't be able to get with money. It's the same as Boss Talk 101. Uh, we reach out to certain people. Sometimes they come. Sometimes they want somebody to pay them. All type of stuff. Uh, the money is not that lucrative for people who are on the lower tiers. You don't feel like you get that much exposure. So you rather go to someone like a Vlad. His level is the level that you want to be on. Now, with that being said, I tripped off of this because you got to understand, man, Boosie and Vlad has some type of partnership going on in a way to where he frequents uh, Vlad's show. And there's nothing I could say is wrong with you having an agreement to work with this or that person. But be that if it may, you got to understand that with also those different things come different consequences, different ways people are going to look at you. And I think Boosie is smart enough to know that. But in doing so, dealing with someone that does not look like you, you will a lot of times be asked questions and you'll have to maneuver in a way to where it suits your brand or it suits your 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 platform. And I'm talking about Boosie and Vlad. But Tyrese comes from the, a different angle with this and says, hey, man, why are you mentioning my name? You know, why are you mentioning my name to Boosie? Does that sound familiar? You know, I would have never, I ain't never addressed this issue until he asked Boosie. He opened mm -hmm. a can of worms. Yeah, he did. If he would have never asked Boosie, you know, he like, it almost like I was lying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I said, you know, Vlad, talk to me. Talk to me, you know what I mean? Come to me, ask me some shit. Don't ask no boosty shit. If you want to be in this street shit, you want to fuck with black folks, you want to fuck with black culture, then you got to know how this culture go. We don't do that type of shit. You don't ask no another motherfucker about another <laughs> motherfucker. You come to that nigga, you ask that nigga, hey man, what's up? Otherwise, you, you're, you're discounting me and you're making me look like I'm not real. People who says that he mentioned his name to Boosie because he want to see Boosie's reaction. He want to see TK Kirkland's reaction. And and I get it. You know, these guys are, are, are phenomenal and they are our culture. And, and, and Vlad's pretty much, you know, uh, he has he having a conversation about different things that's been put in the public eye. But I have to look at Tyrese had to look at this. I mean, if I'm going through, I've been through child support situations. And I wouldn't want nobody putting putting their brand, if it's a mega brand like Vlad's, on my particular case and blasting it in a way to where it just pretty much 
uh, amplifies. Whatever he says, people can take that literally. So I understand why Tyrese felt that way. Now, with that being said, think about it for a minute. You know, a lot of people have spoken up against Vlad. Uh, Vlad has given us a lot of stories, a lot of great stories that we probably never would have got. But he also have disrespected and did things to our culture that he, you know, he is a human. So he makes mistakes. But some of the things he said, and he never recanted some of those statements. Certain things about Louis, Honorable, Honorable Louis Farrakhan. Uh, certain things about different people who did just didn't set well with people. When you look at, I had Columbus Short on. What's her name? Vlad. Vlad. With Vlad. Okay. Vlad. Ridiculous. Because <laughs> you got, you, you, I don't respect you, Vlad. Wow. I don't respect you, Vlad. So. <laughs> oh. So. What? What because, is- because Vlad is extorting and, 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 and using, and he probably worked for the FBI or something. Columbus Shore said, I don't like you, Vlad. And I didn't even see that coming. I'm just interviewing. I have no idea what these people are going to say. I love Columbus Shore. That's my guy, man. People who decided they were going to come and support me as a black family owned, you know, man who's been on business for 17 years, committed to helping our community. Things that I've done. My children are on the cameras. People want to be a part of something real. So shout out to Columbus for even coming by. And 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 he was upset about that. And like, bro, you a weak ass nigga, bro. Let's keep it real. Yeah, you know I mean, like we gonna like we don't stop going on Vlad TV, black people. Wow. He ain't for y'all. He ain't for us. Wow. He ain't. He just wants you on there. Cancel him. Stop canceling wow. our people. Cancel that. I don't know what Vlad did to him, but it may be that he just don't like the way that he's exploiting the culture from his standpoint. So Columbus came on and really, really gave, uh, I don't like you, Vlad. And then there was Pimpin' Ken. Pimpin' Ken came on for the exact same thing, the exact same thing that Tyrese is frustrated about right now. Me and Vlad, is I thought we was cool. I'm telling you, the problem is not, the problem is not Vlad. The problem is that why would you mention my name to a nigga that I'm cool with? You know what I'm saying? We business partners. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? You you know, I don't say, hey man, fuck Vlad or hey man this or hey man that. You know what I'm saying? He should have brought you up. Yeah. About his name and his situation being mentioned to Vlad. He was very upset about it because Vlad mentioned him. And when he mentioned him, he definitely mentioned him to Boosie, and Boosie is a friend of Vlad. I mean, and a, a friend of Pimpin' Ken. So, Pimpin' Ken had a book deal going with Boosie. Pimpin' Ken has a relationship with Boosie just as Vlad. And I don't think, I don't think Vlad did it and knew that it was going to be something that rubbed Pimpin' Ken the wrong way. But Pimpin' Ken was totally upset. He expressed it. He said he should have mentioned Boss Talk 101. Uh, that's where you got it from. He, he, you know, and a lot of times I didn't get upset, but I understand where he was coming from. He's like, you the one broke the story. Why wouldn't he say where he got it from? People don't like when you take and it looks like you're taking from us, even though we take from each other, which is totally different because at the end of the day, I look like these people. So Pimpin' Ken, Columbus Short, Tyrese, and that's just to name a few. I'm pretty sure there's many more if I started to look in all the interviews I've done. Yeah, I don't have, but a, a little, I have a little over a hundred and some thousand uh, um, subscribers. These guys have millions of subscribers. These guys are friends with Vlad. Uh, Breakfast Club, Vlad TV, No Jumper. Uh, these guys are, are, are all, you know, in the same circles. And all you can do is, I mean, you can just, I respect the hustle, but I understand the hustle as well. I did this from a different standpoint. And I just love the fact that, you know, Tyrese, you know, yeah, he got 600000 in debt or whatever for us when it comes down to child support or these people having to try to pull this from his financial situation. I never spoke on it. It's not my thing to speak on, but it's a touchy situation for me because I've been through that. Same as Boosie. I'm pretty sure he deals with that. So shout out to Boosie for really not not uh, 
you know, even getting caught up into it. Now, you can go watch T.K. Kirkland. It's a little different, um, you know. But at the end of the day, we all just giving opinions, man. It's a conversation. And once you put it in the public eye, anybody could take it and run with it. Um, I have no issue. I like I said, I don't even know Vlad. I do Boss Talk 101. I don't know a lot of these people. I love a lot of the people who basically come on my platform and support me. Some of the people I've reached out to, they go straight to Vlad or they go straight to these other platforms because they just, A, may not want to rock with me. I'm cool with that too. Or B, maybe they feel like I'm not going to give them the exposure that they want. Or C, man, you know, there's multiple things that it could be. But at the end of the day, you know, Vlad is, a, you know, he's got a big platform. He's friends with Charlemagne the God. He's friends with um, a lot of people you see. Um, that one, those guys, Matt Hoffa or whatever, those guys, I believe he's friends with those guys. He's been on their show. He, I've never I've never invited him on Boss Talk 101. Maybe I need to invite Vlad. What y'all think? Get in the comments. Should I invite Vlad to come on Boss Talk 101? And if I did, um, what questions would you want me to ask him? Um, Vlad TV. You know, I have never talked with DJ Vlad. I did reach out to uh, No Jumper, Adam22, but he was that was when he was breaking up with AD Nim, and I knew what happened on that. But I'd like to talk to Vlad, maybe. Maybe I want to see see where, why. And, and y'all know I'm going to ask him the questions. I, he probably wouldn't take my interview because a lot of people don't take my interview as well because I ask a lot of questions some people would never ask. And and I get it, you know, but I love my people and I love what this culture stands for. And I'm definitely one who, you know, I want to be fair with the conversation. I'm not going to hold back. I'm not some guy trying to make you think or present it a certain way. I want to make sure that the, the things that people would never ask is probably some of the things that I'm going to ask. So it's probably why people sometimes shy back from coming on Boss Talk 101. I, I, I sometimes have to think about that, too, because a lot of them are not going to ask the questions I'm going to ask. A lot of them doing this to try to get views. I do this because I, I, maybe I thought about it, and so I'm going to ask. Man, hey, man, thank you guys for liking and subscribing to our channel. Like I said, like and share our information, if you would. Um, make sure you guys keep tuning in every week, man. We're going to keep on giving you that news you can use. I know now I've changed my format a little bit on Boss Talk 101. You're going to see me emphasizing a lot of different. When I put a, a certain video up, I'm going to stick with that one. And I'm going to, you know, pretty much give you guys a guy's whole story before I go into something else. Just streamline a little different. But at the end of the day, you're still going to get a lot of different great interviews from a lot of different great people. And shout out to Columbus Short and shout out to Pim and Ken as well because Love those guys, man. They came on my platform when nobody else was coming. You just never forget guys like that. And I also shout out Faison. Faison goes on Vlad TV too. That's my homie. Like, and and I rock with Faison, man. Man, Faison is one of those guys that really showed me support. And I just love the way he uh, you know, basically showed up and gave me an interview and rocked out with me, man. So there are some steppers out here when it comes down to family and culture and uh, there are some guys who pretty much shy back. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm in the South, so I understand. I get it. You guys go. Some people live by different rules. The rule I live by is, man, is represent your people, love your people, rock with the people who rock with you, and also try to bring unity in the community and try to help a lot of the people who may not have never even got a chance to sit on the platform. So, man, hey, man, let me check. Yeah, I think I think that's about it, man.